Hi, I'm Kai, and today I have a special guest on my YouTube channel, Markus from Leutze. Hello, Markus. Welcome to my channel. Which topic have you Hello. brought us today? Hello, Kai. Thank you very much. Um, today we talk about the difference between hazard and risk because they are mixed up very easily. And so we would like to clarify a little bit uh, according to the standard, the ISO 12100, what's the difference between a hazard and a risk? Yeah, I think it's a very interesting topic for us electrical designer. So let's have a look into your presentation. Hello and welcome. My name is Markus Erdorf and I'm safety consultant at Leutze. Today, we would like to talk about the difference between hazard and risk. At first, uh, we would like to look into the standard, a standard where we get some definitions about hazard and risk. And the standard is the ISO 12100. And this standard talks about risk assessment and risk reduction. And in the chapter three, we find some definition and terms, and especially about the topic we are talking today, we look into 3.5, that's about the harm, 3.6, which is about the hazard, 3.12, which is about the risk, and 5.52, which talks about the elements of risk. At first, we look into the hazard. So what is a hazard? So by definition, a hazard is a potential source of harm. So the term hazard can be qualified in order to define its origin. So here, for example, a mechanical hazard where you can cut your fingers or the nature of the potential harm, for example, electric shock hazard. And um, the hazard definition is either a permanently present so during the intended use of the machine, for example, the motion of hazardous moving elements. Or it can appear unexpectedly, for example, explosion. So that's something we do not really expect, but maybe it can happen every two, five, seven years, whatever. The risk is the combination of the probability of occurrence of this harm and severity of that harm. And the elements of the risk are here defined in the standards. So the risk is a function of the severity of the harm. So is it only a little scratch on my hand or can I lose my arm, for example? And the probability of occurrence. And here we find three more definitions. So we have the exposure of a person to the hazards. So how often and how long is the person exposed to this hazard? Then we have the occurrence of the hazardous event itself. So that means for the explosion, for example, which happens only very rarely, or the mechanical hazard, um, the cutting um, edge, for example, which is here permanently. And the last point that we have is the possibility to avoid or to limit the harm. So for the person, can the person see this um, harm? Um, is it a very fast moving part of the machine or very slow moving? So can the person avoid this? And the harm itself, that's a physical injury or the damage to health. So if we want to have the definition a little bit more from the mathematical side, um, then we can show it with the circles. And here, the first that we need is the presence of a person. So that's generally called the exposition. And here, as we have heard before, we talk about the frequency and the duration. So that means how often is the person there? So is it only once per day or once per week or once per year? And how long is the person there? So is it only five minutes or one or two hours? The next point that we have, that's the occurrence of the hazard. So is it permanently there or very seldom? And the last one, that's the possibility of avoidance. So can I see what's happening or do I don't see it? Is it moving very fast or very slow? So in general, these three points together are the possibility 
of occurrence and in our graphics here that's the blue area. So that means if the person and the occurrence of the hazards are very close together then this area is getting bigger and if the possibility of avoidance is getting bigger then the area is getting smaller. And the second part that we have that's the severity of the harm. So if it's only a scratch then it's a very low area and if it's um, very dangerous um, that I can cut off my arm for example then it's a very high column that we have here. And if we multiply these two things probability of occurrence and severity then we have our risk. So the volume of the column represents the risk. And the left one, the green area, that's the person and the gray area, that's the occurrence of the hazard. Okay, so that was our little video to show the difference between risk and hazard, which is really defined in our standard. And I hope that you now know the difference between both of them. Thanks, Marcus, for your presentation. If you have further questions, please leave us a comment. We try to answer it very quickly. And if you liked the video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. And we hope that you look into the next video from Kai and Markus.